All right, here we go. Another live arena fight. First one of the day. Still going to warm up a couple fights in. We're going to get a couple fights in. We're going to warm up a bit and we're going to see um, if I can't have a decent run going on. Let's go ahead and boost turn meter. Now, what is she going to do? Okay, she tries to push us down. Now, I feel... Oh, you know what? I forgot Makage can actually stun. So we should transform, put the stuns out. And hopefully, okay, so we don't get Mezumel, but we can still smack with Harima. Hell yeah, bro. Obviously, we're gonna have to ban his Armands. Oh, he got rid of Anithwe. Yeah, that was a pretty good idea. So I think we're gonna be able to outspeed, and then Rodos will handle everything. Uh, Kandrafon is gonna be probably one of the biggest threats here. Soon Wukong uh, is going to be a, a nice uh, challenge as well because it's going to take a while before we're able to put the block revive on him. So Kandrafon is an interesting champion that I like, and one of the main main reasons that I I liked him when I start uh, when I started doing just PvP in general is. Because he hits so damn hard, he really doesn't care about being locked out, especially when you have buffs like this. His A1 will actually do a double hit. And as you can see, yeah, he hits so hard, really doesn't care about being locked out. So he could smack somebody to heck and just create issues for everybody. We're going to hit the A1 on Rodos because we're not going to be able to attack anybody with the veil up and Duchess has stone skin on he also has increased attack and then if he gets that that um self buff on then we're in big trouble we're gonna put sun wukong to sleep we're gonna place block buffs try to heal a little and put a shield up very nice yeah he's really gunning for uh for arbiter there doesn't want uh doesn't want her doing anything he, he wants to make sure we're not getting our, our boost to attack, which is, you know, it's a, it's a very hard thing for, for Rotos to do. Uh, you know, he does a, a decent amount without the boost to attack, but without an increased attack, any nuker isn't going to do as much as they could be doing. Like, my Georgia has 7,000 plus attack, which isn't, like, the craziest attack. We, we, we're, we're living in a world where we have, like, 9,000, 10,000 easy. And, okay, well, let me focus for a little bit. But what I'm trying to say is that you're just not going to hit as hard. Oh, yeah, Georgid, 7,000 plus attack, and he still doesn't um, fuck. Oh, he still doesn't fuck. He still doesn't um, hit hard by himself. Yeah, so that was a bad, just bad calls on my part. I'll be honest, I don't know what these picks are. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. Let's get rid of... You know what? We're just going to leave. Half of it was I was just straight up distracted because I, I try to um, edit on the side while I'm doing these videos, especially in the waiting thing. So I was opening up DaVinci and uh, yeah, totally got distracted there. But okay, we're going to go our two supports if we can't get our mons and then we're going to go for Warlord. Hopefully they don't get, they don't get to Warlord before I do. Okay, this is an annoying uh, team up. So we're going to have to uh, struggle for a bit. Let's not pick Rotos right away. Let's pick... I still don't have a good counter to King Narcisse and, and Korra. You know what? I'm not doing this. I'm just not doing it. I'm not doing it. We're going to fight somebody else. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going to do that. Because one, I already know how that's going to end up. I'm probably going to lose. <laughs> and so I'm just going to take the L on the chin and walk away, move on to the next fight. Because it's like, if I don't ban Armand's, then I get Armand's. If I don't ban King Narcy's, he's going to smack me, especially with Ancora being being coupled up with him. All right, we're choosing our Armand's, our Armand's. Uh, we're choosing Armand's first. So we'll, we'll, uh, we'll see if I can get a, a decent win in here. Okay. Uh, let's see. He's got Makage, so we're gonna do Harima, so he can't have that combo. And we're also going to pick our speed booster, which is going to be Siffy. 
I probably should have done Warlord because I don't think he would have picked a third. Actually, no, he might have because I, I come in with three supports. What am I? What am I saying? Never mind. We're also gonna want to use Warlord and another damage dealer. So let's do Warlord and Wukong. No, we need a damage dealer. Oh wait, um, freaking um, Tormin. He's in a savage set. We are going to ban Xena because Xena does some nasty things, bro. Especially when I have Siffy, it's it's a wrap. If she takes a turn, it's a wrap, dude. Here we go. Here's to hoping. If I can outspeed her, I might have a decent chance. Or if she does the turn meter boost. Oh shit, stone skin. Well, there goes that. <laughs> there goes that. At least we can have a decent opportunity to stop him from putting the bombs out. And then we just have to deal with these two mythical champions. Which is why... Oh, really? Okay. Got a torment, dude. Coming in clutch. But then we still have to deal with this uh, dick bag. Who revives? He's a reviver, too. He's a damage dealer and a reviver. I don't know which form revive. This is his damage form. Yeah, he's a fun champion to go to uh to probably get one day. He'd be a fun champion for me to get. Yeah. I sometimes wonder what's the point of having this this timer. Like why did he take up all that time just to choose Sun Wukong? I think uh we could get rid of Siffy because she's probably going to be the fastest champion and we might have a decent chance if we can go first. So Alaz is there. I think he might be in stone skin. I wonder, how should we build Alaz? Because I just pulled him, but I've never, because I didn't expect to pull him, I've never watched a guide or any, what is this guy doing? He's taking up the entire turn meter. I've never watched a guide on how to build him or anything, so now I'm kind of like, all right, well, now that I actually have him, it's a decent surprise. Now that I actually have him, how do I build him? I'm thinking all out damage, probably in a merciless set, but then again, I don't know. I didn't expect to build him. I didn't expect to ever get him. It was a surprise. A pleasant surprise. Okay, so he's in stone skin. I think what we can do is try to first remove stone skin. And of course, it doesn't happen. So let's just try to hit a laws. And we can swipe at Wukong. And hope for the best. So Makage, that's the 50-50 for stone skin. Makage couldn't remove the stone skin, but Arbiter did. Love it. Love to see it. Oh my god, Alaz. Don't do it to me. Oof. Brutal. Sheesh. Yeah. Um, so let's smack Alaz. And we have to worry about... Wukong coming back immediately. But then, and Korra might revive Alaz. So maybe we get rid of... Okay, he, he she has Strengthen on. So I don't think we're going to be able to get around to that. But let's hit Wukong. And then we can swipe at Ancora to get a little bit of extra... What do you call it? Uh, HP onto Rotos because his damage is based off of HP. And we're not going to use Harima's moves yet. We're going to wait a little bit. Hmm. Okay, she's not reviving. Let's swipe at Wukong again. Increasing our max HP. Maybe he's waiting to... He's probably waiting for me to kill Marishka so that he can revive Marishka first. But if we play this well enough, we might be able to kill Marishka and then swipe at Ancora. So we'll try it. And then maybe we can survive Wukong. 
Now let's do this, because we have more turn meter here, which means if we take down Ancora, then we're good. Had to put a little bit of elbow grease into the brain here. A little bit of extra thinking went into that, I will admit. I had low hopes for that fight, but you know, sometimes you just gotta try it. You try it and maybe you can succeed. And that's part of why I enjoy Live Arena, positivity. Okay, so we have our next fight here. We're going up against Marius. I chose Mikage because I felt like he was purposely trying to bring in Mikage and trying to deter me from bringing out Mikage. So we're gonna try to aim down on him first. And then we're going to, we can try sheeping Wukong. That's a thing. But let's sheep Warlord. And then we can hit Makage, or not Makage, freaking um, Parishka. Oh, I forgot negative affinity here. Let's put you to sleep. So he either hits hard enough or doesn't. Okay. So now we're going to... If I transform, we might be okay still. So let's trans... Oh, shit, transform. I'm over. I'm clicking on Siffy. That way we can remove the buffs from Wukong and we get sheeped. Okay. Let's bring back our mons. And then we can our mons our way through. There you go. There you go. I got distracted again. And I banned his Wukong, but I purposely came in with an Ethway to <laughs> This is why you shouldn't edit at the same time you're trying to do live arena. You get distracted. But that's it's fine. We'll, uh, we'll figure this out together. Let's boost. And the nice thing is Thor is here. So we'll see. Let's try smacking. Yeah, no, this is not going in my, this is not gonna happen in my favor. <laughs> we should just take, the, this guy's got almost 47,000, or what am I saying? 47,000, 4,000, 4,800. I'm trying to say 4,800. Are you gonna remove first? What are you doing? You know you're gonna do your A3, what are you doing? I guess not. Spoke too soon. Maybe he's thinking about something. What you thinking about, bro? Okay. That was smart, in case, in the event that I was going to put a uh, Harima to sleep. Oh, this is going to hurt. Ish, ish. There you go. Damn. That was brutal. Oh, don't hit me with that A1 or A2. Are we done? Chat, are we cooked? Yeah, we're cooked. It's fine. Ah, we'll, we'll, ta we'll take it. It's my fault for not paying attention. All right, here I am, paying attention. I don't know how I'm gonna do it, but we're gonna pull through, we're gonna do it. We're gonna figure this out. I'm not I'm not backing down from this fight, but that Marius scares me. He's probably gonna let me keep this team in. So let's get rid of UDK, because he's just gonna make my life hell for uh, Rotos. And if we're lucky, I can get rid of Marius before he's able to smack down. And then we just have to worry about um, Siegfried. I don't know who's scarier, Marius or Sigmund? Siegfried. Siegfried? No, Sigmund Freud. What am I saying? Sigmund Freud. All right, please don't have stone skin. Every okay, everybody's got stone skin, of course. Boost turn meter. And I'd like to hit Siegfried. At least get the decreased attack on him. Marius takes a turn. So let me get this straight. Everybody just goes into Live Arena wearing stone skin all the time? Is that how this works? Get rid of you. And then try to just A1 on Marius, I guess. Because everybody's always in stone skin. Everybody. My ass would have ally attacked. 
But who knows if that's the good or the, uh, a bad thing. Uh, buh, 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 buh. Yeah, this is it. Marius takes a turn and we're done. <clears throat> here it comes, here it comes. Boom, boom, boom. Yep. Okay, so we got a little lucky there. Let's boost turn meter. Never mind, it doesn't matter. Makage still went first. I was hoping that um, Rodos was going to be able to take a turn before Makage, but that's that's fine. All right, we'll see. We'll see if we survive. There it is. Oh, damn. Yep. So. All right, here we go. We have to worry about Necrit. Necrit's going to keep those guys alive. So we'll see what we can do about that. And he's in stone skin. Okay. Let's boost. And we're going to give it to Inithwe. Inithwe. Block revive there. Get rid of Necrit here. And then we just have to A1. Because uh, we're not going to be able to do anything. He doesn't have buffs. So we should be fine. Never mind, now he has a buff. Now I don't know if we're going to be fine or not. Yeah, I don't know. We'll see. Because if he hits hard enough and he's able to smack through Sippy, then we're kind of SOL. But we do have increased defense. Okay, so we're okay. That was okay. That was an okay move. Probably going to revive next. And then bring back um, Necrit. If we can hit hard enough, we don't have increase to anything here, and he's got strengthen on. So I'm can't I'm kinda like I'm not too I'm not too sure if we A3 it, if it's gonna work out in our favor. Plus he's got damage mitigation from Necrit. So let's give it to Rodos. We're gonna see if Rodos can A3 into the A2 on Georgid. Okay, perfect. There you go. That's a little bit of a morale boost. Since I've been losing back to back. I feel like I always... Oh, we have a chest. And... Well, I mean, this is pretty... This is okay. I like this. Accuracy with speed. Oh, I almost clicked sell. I almost clicked sell. I'm in my prime, but this ain't even final four. Laying on me down, but...